Hey everybody, my name is Psychroplasm. Recently my wife suggested to me that instead of just doing straight gameplay videos, I should occasionally throw in a challenge video. Now I'm not that good of a gamer, so it took me a while to come up with something that I could do that not a lot of people have done. Or at least have put on YouTube. The first thing that eventually came to mind was fist fighting a mushroom parent in Dark Souls. I don't think it's going to work out. Second thing that came to mind was saving Farida Malik in Deus Ex Human Revolution in pacifist mode. So not only are we going to do that as pacifists, we're going to do it on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> save is from November of 2013. <laughs> Luckily I happen to save like right before you go into this fight. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? Was this game always this pixely? I remember wanting that jacket so much. Not because of like, the shape or anything, but the shoulder pieces. Like, they look completely black under certain lighting, but then that pattern emerges when he's under, like outside light. I just thought it was really cool. No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Bad news, spy boy. Spy boy. Hangshaw traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a sandlock on our tail. <laughs> Okay, quick strategy powwow before we get started. There's two main factors working against you here. One, time. Farida dies very quickly in hard mode. Two, supplies. You don't necessarily have to save up, but what you want to do is make sure you have an EMP grenade and a concussion grenade for my strategy. Now, I personally am going to be doing mostly hand-to-hand -hand takedowns, so before I even start, I want to make sure that my energy is topped up. And you'll notice over here that I've actually got some spares because we're going to need them. Now, you can use the stun gun, but the reload time really kind of makes it a problem here. So, we're just going to try and do almost all hand-to-hand -hand takedowns and we'll use it in case of an emergency. Alright, here goes everything. Bunny. I know! But the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. First thing, oh, toss out you. this con Negative. concussion grenade to detain. <laughs> I'll be fine. Sorry, toss out the concussion oh. grenade to deter the heavies. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, it gives you a little bit more time to work. There's a guy right behind me. Oh crap, they already dropped the robot. Alright, the robot is what you need the EMP grenade for. What just happened there? Oh, out of energy. <laughs> See, that's what the energy bars are for. Realistically, I probably should have used my stun gun there, but I'd already gotten there. Take care of our sniper up here. And now we're headed across the way. Got 
one more guy to take care of, and we are home free. Bye. Jensen, the bird's fixed and I'm taking off. Now get on with the damned mission. And thanks, bye boy. You know, I really missed her in the next game. Anyway, that's it for today. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around. Bye. Let's go.